Clint Eastwood takes a break from his one-man act with an empty chair to play a grouchy old man. Now that's a stretch. Gus Loeb is one of the best Scots baseballs ever seen. The guy that signed Dusty Baker, Dale Murphy, Tom Glavin. Gus Loeb. But well, what he thought was staring at, I'm not a pole dancer. <laughs> It's movie review time here on the show. I'm your host, Brett Martin, and thank you very much for watching. Clint Eastwood plays an aging baseball scout who has a poor relationship with his daughter, played by Amy Adams, in Trouble with the Curve. My father is a baseball scout. I grew up around men who swore, drank, and farted. Get me a damn check. Trust me, I can handle it. Eastwood's eyesight is failing, so Adams decides to tag along on what could be his last scouting trip. The conflicts in the movie are many. There's the father and daughter thing, the daughter and her new boyfriend, played by Justin Timberlake thing, and a big baseball conflict pitting younger tech-savvy scouts against the old-school scouts. Now, we've seen this movie before. It's called Moneyball. <laughs> surprises. Gus is struggling. He's going to be out of the job. I just have broken down. Man, you want to get as far away from me as you can. There are some dark moments and some sappy and cheesy moments, and you're never quite sure if you're supposed to laugh or not when Eastwood goes on one of his grouchy old man rants. And let's see, the last time that he was in a movie was back in 2008 for Gran Torino, and it's been nearly 20 years since he's been in a movie that he has not directed. I think he should stick to his own stuff. I just didn't want you to have life in the cheap seats. I love the cheap seats. Spending every waking moment with my dad watching baseball. The movie is heartwarming, but it takes a long time to get there. The Timberlake Adams chemistry didn't work, and the baseball scouting scenes did seem to drag out a bit. So the flickometer is going to give Trouble with the Curve a three out of five. In the end, you know, it's one of those easygoing old time movies that studios just don't seem to make anymore. And I've always been a fan of Clint Eastwood. He's always been nice to me. I've spoken to him several times. And even though he continues to play the grumpy old man, he does pull it off to a certain extent here. Let me know what you think. Like my Facebook page. It's called The Brett Side. I would appreciate it. I'm Brett Martin. Thanks for watching this review.